Hey guys, how's it going? So today I got a little bit of kind of a story time slash just a situation that I wanted to share with you guys. So basically my boyfriend and I um, are going to slash we're going to be going to a uh, work tour in Toronto which is on July the 17th. Um, I bought us tickets as like a Christmas present for him slash me um, and I got us like the bundle sets. Um, so it was kind of expensive. I spent like over $300 on the tickets. Um, I got him the best day ever bundle and then I got the forever work bundle for myself. So his was $200. Mine was $100. It came with a bunch of cool stuff. He got like a limited edition pair of vans. We got like these huge like vans work tour uh, flags. We got like a book. We got two posters. We got lanyards. All that fun stuff. So it was like a cool package kind of thing. So that came in the mail like yesterday and everything is at my boyfriend's house. I'm getting that in the mail and having all the cool work tour stuff and with it being closer to work tour now we're like oh my god like extra excited about it because we've been waiting to get that since like like we ordered it before like December 25th and it was it was like a pre-order kind of thing. Like we've been so 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 excited about seeing uh, Black Veil Brides and Falling in Reverse, Asking Alexandria and a few other bands and everything but the two main ones are definitely Falling in Reverse and Black Veil Brides. Like we've just been freaking out about that since they announced the lineup a few months back. Well yeah we were having like an awesome night, everything was good and we were about to watch like a movie just on Netflix or whatever and then I got a notification on my phone um, that Ronnie Radke posted a photo on Instagram because I have the notifications turned on which is like no big deal. So I just checked what he posted and he was like oh like I hope you guys are ready for work tour and then he posted like the dates that I guess he would be there and he was like oh I'll be there from June whenever work tour starts until July 16th. And I kind of looked at it for a second and I was like, oh cool, wait, our show is on July 17th. And I kind of like looked over at my boyfriend and I was like, hey, read what Ronnie just posted. And he was like, wait, what, isn't our day July 17th? And I was like, yeah, like, does that mean that Falling in Reverse isn't coming? And, um, and my boyfriend was kind of like, no, like, he's part of the lineup, like, he'll be there, like, that's weird. And then we, like, looked it up, like, specifically the Toronto, uh, lineup, and Falling in Reverse, Black Veil Brides, Asking Alexandria, and a few others are not on the lineup for Toronto. This is something that we were completely not aware of until last night, and it was really, really upsetting. Like, we were kind of like, what the f what what the fuck? Like, we've been, like, literally so, like, just no way, like, we're seeing Ronnie Radke, like, neither of us have seen Ronnie Radke, Falling in Reverse, we love Ronnie so, so, so much, can't even explain. Basically, the whole point of this video is about uh, what my boyfriend and I, um, we have a plan to do to resolve this situation. So immediately after finding this information out, we went on and checked out what US dates were posted that were kind of relatively close to Canada, which is an interesting thing because neither of us have passports and work tour is happening in like less than a month. So <laughs> this is kind of where like, what the hell are we gonna do? Like absolutely like, we need to see Falling Reverse. This is without a question. Like, so the show that we decided is kind of relatively close and we're gonna try to figure out like getting our passports done, finding a way there, finding a place to stay, like a hotel, all that sort of stuff. Like we gotta try to plan this stuff and get everything done that we need to get done before you know, like, it's just kind of like, oh my god, like, I wish that we had known this sooner so we could have planned this better because not having passwords is kind of a big deal. I know you can get them quickly, but it's just kind of like one of those things, like, I've never had a passport. My boyfriend hasn't had a passport for, like, a long time, so it's like, great, this is going to be fantastic. So the show we're going to be going to is in New Jersey. The city is called Homedale. New Jersey so that's what we're gonna try to figure out and I don't know like we're gonna attempt to call like Ticketmaster slash work tour and see if it's at all possible that they could like refund like our ticket price like we got the bundle thing so I don't expect them to refund like the bundle cost but just the tickets themselves I think a general admission ticket is $45 so I'm, we're gonna see if it's possible that they could like refund our tickets and we can swap them over to the New Jersey show. If not, we're just gonna buy them, whatever. But it's crazy though because like with the money that's already been spent, it's already like, that's a kind of expensive <laughs> show to go to and now we're just like at a point it's like, I don't care how much money this is gonna cost, we are seeing Falling in Reverse and we're gonna enjoy Warp Tour, whatever. And if we can't uh, sort out like, if we can't swap over the tickets and like get a refund, we're just gonna go to both dates because why not? So. 
know, July is going to be a really interesting month because we'll just have two back-to-back -back work tour shows and we're going to be traveling to the United States just to come right back home. Like, it's not going to be like a trip, it's just like a one-day thing kind of thing, but it might span over three days. Like, we might leave, I think the show is on like a Saturday, so we might leave the Friday, do the show on the Saturday, stay the night, and then come back on like the Sunday or something like that. I don't really know. This is all stuff that we have to plan and figure out and everything. Um, and then we'll just come right back home and go to the Toronto date on Tuesday. So, I don't know. I think it's going to be a lot of fun and interesting to see if we can figure all this out. Um, nothing set in stone, like we don't have this officially planned, so I, I'm not guaranteeing that we're going to be going to the New Jersey show, but like we're definitely going to try and I just felt like updating you guys on that because I feel like it's just like, like what, what the hell is going on? I don't know, it's such like a bizarre situation because like, I don't know, we're not really people that like travel, like my boyfriend did a lot of traveling when he was younger, but I myself have never had a passport in my life. I've never left Canada and I've only been to a few like provinces in Canada so it's like I'm not a travel-y type person so it's just kind of scary I don't know anyways that's kind of my story and the links that my boyfriend and I will go to to see Ronnie Radke's also one other unfortunate thing um Blackville Brides is actually I checked their dates and they're only playing from June whenever work tour starts until July 1st so either way we're fucked for seeing Black Blackville Brides which I feel like it's just really, really stupid that it's the last Warped Tour ever and like Black Veil Brides and Falling in Reverse are probably like the two most mainstream bands on the entire lineup and they're not going to all the shows. Like I feel like that's not really fair, especially because the Toronto show is the only Canadian uh, date so it's like why would they not have it so that everyone's going? I don't know. If any of you guys know why they're not going, like is it something like is Ronnie even allowed in Canada? I don't I have no idea. That's the situation. I just wanted to fill you guys in on that to let you know what I'll be up to and all that fun stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy. Let me know what you think of the situation. Would you spend all that money and all that planning and stuff just to go see your favorite band or are we crazy? Because I don't know. This is Ronnie Radke we're talking about. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all again very, very soon. Bye guys.